2007. Then we had a cooling in 2008. We had a recovery in 2009. We're having a cooling again in, 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 in 2010, and that will show up as you know, a, hand -off, a weak handoff into 2011. But by the middle of 2011, again, things start to stabilize, sales start to pick up, set prices lag sales, and then in 2012, things pick back up again. If we actually go and we say, what's the average forecast for prices over the 2002 to 2012 period, based on our, our outlook? The average price growth is 4%. And if you remember that clip I said before, I think that that's really the, the long-term sustainable rate. I think that 4% you know, price growth is a reasonable expectation over like a 10-year period. But understand you're going to have quite a cycle in this period. Now, I would again say that based on, based on these numbers, we are being, we are very conservative on this. If there's, no, if there's a risk to this forecast, again, it's that we're overestimating uh, the, the weakness in sales and we're overestimating, overestimating the, the, the uh, decline in prices. Because quite frankly, if interest rates prove to be lower than we're anticipating, the affordability situation could again trump the economic situation. And there is one reason why I want to highlight that, because the U.S. Federal Reserve is now talking about doing a lot more in terms of what they call quantitative easing. That's just fancy words for injecting a lot of money in the economy. Right? They're going to buy bonds and inject money into the system. If the U.S. Federal Reserve was to do that in a significant way, then, 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 then bond yields in the United States wouldn't rise, they'd fall. And in fact, Canadian bond yields would actually track the U.S. bond yields lower. So that could actually mean that interest rates don't increase if the U.S. the, the five-year fixed mortgage rate wouldn't increase. In fact, it could decrease if the Federal Reserve starts doing a lot more. But I want to make sure that people are very pragmatic, that they're prepared for, you know, what is a, a you know what what is a, a you know a conservative view on the market, and then you know I'd rather be pleasantly surprised than, than disappointed.